Oh man. I'm gonna crack my neck. Oh. Oh. Can you hear that? Wow. All right. Now I'm ready to go. What is going on YouTube? Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. In this video, we are going to cover what to do if you're looking to stop doing the ketogenic diet, if you are looking to possibly add in some carbohydrates, if you're looking to eat more than 20 grams of carbs per day. And you could be wanting to do that for various different reasons. All right, so in this video, we're gonna cover why did you start doing keto? Why are you stopping? Why are you wanting to stop doing keto? We're then gonna talk about the two most important things when it comes to dieting, when it comes to weight loss. We're gonna talk about how can you transition from doing keto, eating very low carb, to then eating more carb without gaining weight, because that's a big fear I know you have. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about the two ways you can start to add in carbohydrates to your diet in order for you to still lose body fat, to still see your weight loss progress without ruining or gaining weight. All right, so without further ado, let's dive in. But before we actually do that, I wanna make this very, very, very clear, because I do not want to see any of these comments in the comment section. I'll probably lose my mind. If you enjoy doing keto, if it works for you, if you like it, if that's what you wanna do, I fully support you and that is absolutely amazing. I, I have feel no ways about it. This video is clearly for somebody who wants to stop doing keto. If you want to transition from doing a ketogenic diet lifestyle, eating very low carbs, to introducing more carbs into your diet, this is who this video is for. So I do not want to see any comments in the comment section saying, why are you bashing keto? I love keto. It works for me. That's amazing. And I'm totally super happy for you. All right. So very first and foremost, I don't want to see any of those comments. Now let's dive into the real video. All right. So Number one, why did you start doing keto? What was the main reason that, that drove you to start doing keto? It was probably because one of two reasons, probably because you saw one of your friends doing it, you heard one of your coworkers doing it, maybe your spouse did it, something probably happened to where you heard of it and that individual that you heard about lost a ton of weight, whether it was an Instagram post, whether it was a TikTok post, whether it was, again, your best friend or your coworker. That person probably lost a lot of weight and they probably lost a lot of weight very quickly, which we're gonna talk about here soon, but you probably wanted to start doing it and that's why you started doing it because you thought that, okay, I know if I start this diet like Shauna, I can lose 50 pounds in three months. That's exactly what I want. Who doesn't wanna lose weight very, very quickly? That was probably your first reason. Reason. The second reason is because you have become to believe, whether it's from the mainstream media, whether it's from diet culture, whether it's from your friends or your influences, your, your parents, whoever it is, that carbohydrates are bad and you should stay away from them. Maybe that's why you started doing the ketogenic diet because you think, if I wanna lose weight, if I wanna be healthy, I need to stay away from carbohydrates. So those are probably your two reasons for starting it. Now, very first and foremost, what I wanna say on why people lose weight so quickly on keto. Why, why is there such drastic changes in the first week, four days, two weeks, a month? Why is there such drastic changes? I wanna make this very clear. When you eat carbohydrates or when you don't eat carbohydrates, carbohydrates store water in your body. For every one gram of carb, you store anywhere from three to four grams of water. So when you go from eating 120 grams of carbs a day, 200 grams of carbs per day, to then eating 27 grams of carbs per day, what's gonna happen? You are going to lose weight like that. And I say weight because there's a difference between losing weight and losing body fat. And I actually made a video on this on my YouTube channel here. I'll link it above. Feel free to go watch that if you want to after this video. But there's a big difference between losing weight and losing body fat. When people lose weight so rapidly on keto in the first two to four weeks, they're not losing a ton of body fat, they're just losing a ton of water weight. And so again, you may experience this as well. You probably, you might, you might have lost 12 pounds in a week, 15 pounds in two weeks, and you're like, holy shit, this is the best thing ever. The process of losing body fat, burning body fat off your body is just simply not that quick. It just doesn't happen that fast, right? So if you're losing 15 pounds in two weeks, maybe, you lost two pounds of body fat, maybe, maybe three, maybe three pounds of body fat, but the mo majority of the weight you are losing is just water weight. And that's why people lose weight so quickly. And again, the more you restrict carbohydrates and don't eat them, the less water weight you're gonna have on your body, which is not always a good thing. And again, we'll talk about it later. 
But that's why people lose weight so quickly on keto. And again, there's a big difference between losing weight and losing body fat. Just keep that in mind because we're going to talk about that later in the video. So now, why, now that we know why you've done it, now that we know why you're losing a ton of weight on it, why do you want to stop? Could be a few reasons. Number one, you just enjoy eating carbohydrates and you might go insane if you continue to not eat more than 20 grams of carbs per day. And I know there's a various range you could go to, but you know, eating around 20, 30, 40, 50 grams of carbs per day is literally next to nothing, let's be honest. So maybe you just say, hey, I want to eat more carbs. Can I? Am I allowed to? Is there a way I can eat more carbs and still lose body fat? So that could be one reason. Number two, you could have plateaued, right? You, you, you might have lost a bunch of weight very, very quickly on your first one, two, three weeks, and then you might have plateaued a bit, right? So let's talk about both those things. Number one, can you lose body fat while eating carbohydrates? Yes, you can, and we're going to talk about that later in the video. Number two, if you have plateaued, oh my God, really itchy nose. If you have plateaued on keto, Either, number one, you've just lost all your water weight and you know what, like you're not going to lose weight that rapidly anymore because you have, don't have much water weight left in your body to just rapidly lose that quickly. Number two, and that means if you've already lost all your water weight and now you're losing only a pound per week, which is actually amazing progress, that's just normal. So that's number one. Number two, the reason you could be plateaued and not losing any more weight is because of what we're going to talk about here down below. So let's talk about, the now, now that we know why you've done it, now that we know why you want to stop doing it, let's talk about, and I guess number three, which kind of already said, but the, the third reason here would be you just want something more sustainable. So if you're watching this video right now, you probably don't want to not eat carbs for the rest of your life. You probably have a social life. You probably enjoy certain foods. You, you probably want to make this more sustainable because I know in the back of your head you're probably thinking cool I've lost 20 pounds in a month and a half but how the hell am I going to keep this up how am I going to keep eating like this because at the end of the day whatever you do to lose the weight is the same thing you're going to have to do to keep the weight off so if you're losing weight on keto but you know in the back of your head you're not going to do this for the rest of your life you're probably going to end up gaining that weight back because you're not going to actually know how to eat sustainably for the rest of your life. So you probably want something more sustainable in which, if that is you, kudos, congrats, and I'm very, very proud of you. So let's dive in to the two biggest things when it comes to your diet. The first most important thing when it comes to your diet, your nutrition, is adherence. And this is why I just talked about losing weight in a sustainable fashion. That's great. You lost 20 pounds doing keto in the first month. That's great. You've lost, you know, your friend has lost 40 pounds in three months. I'm ecstatic for you. But what's the point of losing weight if you don't keep it off forever? And that's one of the biggest things that if you're watching this video right now, you probably are looking at, how can I do this forever? How can I stick to this forever? I, I, maybe I, I can't. I can't eat 40 grams of carbs every day for the rest of my life because it doesn't matter what plan you have. You could do keto. You could do fasting. You could do any one of these things. And again, I am emotionless. I do not care what you do. All I care about is you better find something you can do every day for the rest of your life in order to see progress because that is how you are going to not only see progress, but keep that progress forever. And you can have the best plan in the world. But if you can't adhere to it, you are not going to not only see progress, you're not going to keep the progress. Okay, so that's number one. And again, the ketogenic diet makes it incredibly hard to stick to, especially in a place, you know, especially if you have a social life, if you have kids, if you if you enjoy certain foods like rice or fruit or pasta or whatever it is, it makes it incredibly hard to adhere to, which is one of the biggest reasons I'm not the biggest advocate for it is it makes it incredibly hard to stick to, which if you can't stick to it for an extended period of time, the short-term results you do see are going to be just that, short-term. And this is where I urge you to think of more a long-term mindset. I know that you want to lose weight very quickly. Who the hell doesn't? I understand but again, I'll ask you, what's the point of losing weight very rapidly just so you can gain it back again and then lose it again and then gain it back again and do this yo-yo cycle your entire life? 
I don't want you to do that anymore. So you have to start already thinking about not how can I lose weight quick the, the, in, the, in the most fast way possible. How can I get this weight off? How can I get this weight off in a sustainable fashion to where I'm not going to gain it back? And that's where it comes down to focus more on adherence, focus more on sustainability as opposed to speed. Your results may not be as quick in the short term. You may not lose 20 pounds with what I'm going to tell you here in the first month. But month three and month four and month five and month 12 and month 18, instead of, instead of losing 40 pounds in the first three months and then gaining 50 pounds back in the next six months, so in, what I just say, three and six, in a nine-month span, you've gained 10 pounds. As opposed to that, you could be slowly and sustainably losing weight, losing weight, losing weight, losing weight for nine months straight and be down, let's just say 40 pounds as opposed to being up 10 pounds. So stop focusing on how rapidly you lose weight. Stop focusing on getting the weight off like that. It's normally not going to be sustainable and you are not going to see long-term progress that way. So in the long run, Adhering to something and following something more sustainably is going to actually be quicker in the long run because you're not just going to lose, gain, lose, gain, lose, gain, and your trend line is going to trend up because you're going to lose 20, gain 25, lose 30, gain 40. So your trend line is trending up as opposed to if you start here, lose four pounds, lose six pounds, lose three pounds, lose nine pounds, you're trending down. It's slower in the short term, faster in the long term. So that's number one. The second most important thing when it comes to your diet, being in a calorie deficit. This just means you are eating less calories than what your body is burning on a daily basis. This is, by the way, the only way you are going to lose body fat. I don't care what diet you do. You can do keto, you can do fasting, you can do Weight Watchers, you can do Octavia, you can do whatever you want. Calorie deficit, being in a calorie deficit is not a diet. It's simply just an energy balance equation. You need to eat less calories than what your body is burning. That is... <coughs> Ow. Ugh. Sorry about that. That is the only way you are going to lose body fat. That's it. That, 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 there's so many studies done on this, it's not even funny. The only way you're going to lose body fat is through being in a calorie deficit. Now, this means two things. Number one, you, number one, you don't have to be in ketosis to lose weight. Being in ketosis is not what makes you lose weight. Being in a calorie deficit is what makes you lose weight. That is how you do that. So that's number one. Number two, this also means, okay, if you're in a calorie deficit, this now means you can still eat carbs and lose weight because now that you know that you don't have to be in ketosis, you don't have to eat 20 grams of carbs a day. Now that you know that you can say, oh, okay, well, yeah, I guess the question of can I eat carbs and still lose weight? The answer is yes, because as long as you're in a calorie deficit, you will lose body fat. Now, I have two other things for you right now. Number one, if you want to know exactly how many calories you should eat to lose weight and what your macros should be for weight loss, so calories means, again, overall calories, macros means protein, carbs, and fats, I have two free videos on YouTube, totally free, literally does all the math for you. You just put your numbers in. I have two videos. I'm going to link them here above as well as in the description below. Again, I have a free calorie calculator and a free macro calculator, totally free. So if you want to, feel free to watch those two things, put your information in, get your numbers, and start being able to transition from not eating carbs, eating 20, 30, 40 grams of carbs a day, to eating more carbs and still losing body fat. Because again, as long as you are in a calorie deficit, you will lose weight. And if you don't believe me, because you're probably, you may be skeptic, which I totally understand. I'm going to show you some pictures of my online coaching clients who have eaten anywhere from 130 to 250 grams of carbs per day and lost body fat. As you can see, I mean, the pictures are right here. They're on my website too. Like these are my clients. They've all eaten carbs and they've all lost body fat. So you do not need to be in ketosis or be afraid of carbohydrates if you want to lose body fat. It's simply not true. And I know that probably growing up or a lot of the things you may see on the internet may steer you in a different direction. I have no reason to lie to you. This is the truth, the God's honest truth. You can still eat carbs 
and lose body fat, just like all these people have right here as well, okay? So now, now that we know the two most important things and we've talked about that, let's talk about how you can transition from doing keto, eating very low carbs, to now eating carbs again, reintroducing carbs back into your diet without gaining weight, all right? So now, I'm gonna be very, as you can already probably tell, I'm very upfront and honest. When you start to reintroduce carbs back into your diet, you are going to gain weight. Yep, you will. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to crush your dreams. I'm sorry to freak you out. I'm sorry to maybe even turn you off. I don't wanna lie to you. You are going to gain weight when you add carbs back into your diet. When you go from eating 20, 30, 40 grams of carbs to eating 120, 130, 150 grams of carbs a day, scale is gonna go up for sure. Yep, 110% the scale is gonna go up. But that's why I said earlier, there's a big difference between losing weight and losing body fat. You can lose weight without losing body fat. Like we said earlier, you can lose weight and have it be water weight. You may not lose any body fat, but you've lost water weight, so you think you've lost fat. Not really the case. Same thing here. You can gain weight without gaining body fat. And this is what is going to happen when you reintroduce carbs back into your diet. You are going to gain water weight. You are not going to gain fat. Because again, as long as you are in a calorie deficit, it's impossible to gain body fat. It's literally physically impossible. So just know that yes, the scale is gonna go up. You know what? I know it sucks sometimes, but you know what's right. And you know that again, you're not gaining body fat. You are just gaining water weight on the scale, which again, is not a bad thing for a few reasons. Number one, your body need, your body's primarily made up of water. Your body needs water weight, it's a, it's a necessity, number one. Number two, a lot of that water weight is gonna be stored in your muscles, which is a good thing because this means your workouts are going to increase. One of the biggest things that people tell me when they're doing the ketogenic diet is their workouts fucking suck. And I'm like, yeah, because you got no energy, no fuel for your muscles. When you start to add carbs back in, you are going to have kick-ass workouts, which, is going to help you, number one, build more muscle, number two, have better workout performance, number three, have better dietary adherence, and number four, burn more calories during your workout, because if you have more energy, if you have more fuel, you're gonna push harder. If you push harder, you're gonna burn, burn more calories during your workout. All those things are positive things. Again, I don't care if the scale, scale goes up eight pounds. All of what I just said is positive. Not to mention, for example, you need water in your tendons and your ligaments and your joints and, and all these things, right? So putting water weight back on, not a bad thing. And so don't be afraid of it and don't try to not make it happen because unless, you, again, unless you want to stop, unless you want to not eat carbs, there's going to be some extra water weight because again, every one gram of carb stores three to four grams of water weight. So yes, the scale is going to go up, but you are not gaining body fat as long as you are in a calorie deficit. And again, as long as you are eating the calories I tell you to in that calculator, you are going to lose body fat, I promise, okay? So that's number one. I don't wanna sit here and lie to you, it's gonna happen. Now, I will say this. After the, it's especially common in the first, you know, it's not uncommon in the first one or two weeks to gain three to 10 pounds. I mean, it depends, it depends how long you've done keto and it depends how low your, cal your, your carbs have been. But it's not uncommon for you to gain anywhere from three to 10 pounds in the first one or two weeks. It's, it's going to happen, okay? So. Don't be afraid, it's gonna happen. Now, I will say this, there's two ways you can go about adding carbs back into your diet. There's the slow and steady, and there's the straight shot. Let's first talk about slow and steady. If you've been eating, say, 20 grams of carbs per day, you can go from week one eating 20 grams of carbs per day, week two, 30 grams of carbs per day, week three, 40 grams of carbs per day, and you can slowly inch your way back up. Obviously, during this time, you would be adding carbohydrates back in, and lowering your fat content because a ketogenic diet is high fat, low carb, right? So you'll be slowly increasing carbs, slowly decreasing fats. That's one way you can go about adding carbs back into your diet. Now, there's another way you can go, which is basically just a straight shot. Let's say, you know, let's say you go to my video on my YouTube channel and you find out I should be eating 150 grams of carbs per day, but I'm eating 20 grams of carbs per day. What you'd basically do is the next day, go from 20 grams to 150 grams. That's, that's the straight shot, that's what you would do. Here's what you're probably thinking. Well, I'm gonna do the slow approach because I don't wanna gain weight as quickly on the scale. And I understand what you, I understand, and if that's, if that's the route you wanna take, amazing, but here's what I'll say. Either way, you're gonna gain the weight back on the scale. Whether it takes you six weeks, 
or whether it takes you one day, you're going to gain that weight back because it's water weight you are going to be storing when you add carbs back into your diet. So if you're doing it for that reason, if, you're, if the sole reason for you to say, no, I'm gonna add in slowly, I would personally, and what I do with a lot of my clients who come to me from a keto background, I just put them right at where they're supposed to be because why waste six, eight, 12 weeks of you just still doing low carb, still hating your life, still not being able to go out and be social with your friends? Why waste that time when either way, whether it happens over a span of 12 weeks or two days, you're gonna gain back eight pounds of the water weight. Why? Why waste the time and why put yourself through more suffer and misery? If you're still watching this video this far in, if you're still doing this right now, you probably wanna get the fuck off keto. It's probably, it's probably been on your mind for a while. You probably wanna add carbs back in, right? So I would just say, personally, why waste time? I would just go straight to it now. Again, it's totally up to you. If you wanna go the slow and steady, please, by all means, feel free. But just know, again, you may gain some water weight. And that even could be a mental fuck for you as well because if you're slowly gaining water weight every single week after week after week, it's like, fuck, I'm doing this, but like my, the scale is not moving because the water weight, it's just like, bite the bullet, you know, add the carbs back in, take four days of you having a higher weight, then it's gonna go back to normal. Like, do that faster process and just get back to being in a calorie deficit. And again, whether you do either one of these options, as long as you are in a calorie deficit, you will lose body fat. So don't be afraid of that, but just know that there's two ways you can go about doing it. And as far as when you would see the scale going back down, it's incredibly independent, again, on number one, how long you've done keto, and number two, what your, what your carb level has been. I would say after the first two to four weeks maybe, you should see the scale start to go back down again. And again, it could be in, in three days, it could be in six days, it could be in a month and a half. It, it really just depends, but just know that as long as you are in a calorie deficit, you will lose body fat, okay? So this is what, where I'll also say, make sure you are tracking your measurements and your progress pictures. Like I showed you with my clients, every two weeks we take measurements and every four weeks we take progress pictures. So even though the scale can be playing games sometimes, you can have your measurements, you can have your progress pictures to fall back on. Because if, you, you know, if, if you've only lost, say, one pound in three weeks, you can look at your measurements, look at your progress pictures and say, oh, okay, my measurements are down, my progress pictures are looking good, I know I'm making progress, awesome. And that's gonna lead me into the last point of kind of summing this all up. Listen, I know that adding carbs back into your diet is gonna be a very scary thing for you. I know you're probably not wanting to gain weight in the scale. I know you've probably gone all this time losing weight, losing weight, losing weight very quickly. And now I'm telling you, hey, <laughs> scale's gonna go up. You're not gonna lose weight as quickly. And I'm telling you all these things you don't wanna hear. I'm telling you because I care about you. I'm telling you because I wanna tell you the truth. But more importantly, I want you to realize and have proper expectations heading into this you're probably not going to lose weight as quickly anymore. It's not gonna happen. You're not gonna see five pounds gone in a week. A healthy, sustainable range of weight loss is anywhere from 0.5 to 1.5 pounds per week on average. One week you could lose no pounds, next week you could lose two pounds. That's an average of one pound per week. That would be amazing, healthy, sustainable progress. And I go back to what we said here. I urge you to do what is right, what you know is right, what you know you need to do, not what is the most comfortable. Because again, in the long run, if you're still watching this video, keto is not gonna be sustainable for you. And I'm, I'm saying that because again, if, if people watching this still, if, if you're still somehow watching this and you like doing keto, fucking kudos to you because I, I basically just bashed it for the entire whatever this is, 15 minutes. But uh, again, if you enjoy doing it, that's great and you can sustain that. But if you're still watching this and you wanna make a change, you probably can't sustain that. So that cycle of losing and gaining and losing and gaining, this yo-yo cycle is gonna happen over and over and over and over again. To stop that in its tracks, you gotta do what's right. You gotta just add the carbs back in. I know it might be scary. I know you might be afraid of it. I know it can be very demoralizing to see the scale go up. I understand all that. But you gotta think long-term versus short-term. You've thought short-term thus far. You need to start thinking more long-term, more sustainable, more what can I keep up for the rest of my life. So that's what I'll leave you with. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, concerns, drop below. Again, I'm here to help. I know this all can be scary. I hope this video helped calm you a bit, have you have now realistic expectations for what is to come. Other than that, if you liked the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more information, content like this. Again, if you wanna go watch the video on how many calories to eat and what your macros should be, it'll be in the description below. Any questions, let me know, and we'll talk soon, all right? Thank you.